Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Colin. Hello, everybody. This is Summer. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语，听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Hey Colin, I've heard something about net neutrality， 网络中立。这个词啊，最近外网还是很火的。I was wondering if you knew anything about it. Hmm. Yeah, it's an important issue in the U.S. right now. It's made determine who controls the internet there. I've been keeping an eye on it as a a lot of content I consume is from the U.S. 就是说，决定谁能够控制这个网络，控制互联网。But I still don't know what it means. Ah,、uh, well, net neutrality is the principle. That the companies that provide services on the internet should make all information equally available to users, and not make any particular service,、uh, website, etc., cheaper or faster to use than any other. 就是说，互联网的一些服务供应商，他们应该平等的处理所有这种互联网上的资料，要无差别的对待，所以就叫做 neutrality。那我们先看看啊，如果没有这个 neutrality, without the net neutrality, what would happen? Well, in the U.S., it would mean that all the companies or organizations with deep pockets would be able to control what information you see, hear, or watch on the internet. 就是说，有钱的公司就决定了一切这种网上的信息。But I'm still not sure I understand how. Well, okay, let's talk about that today. Okay, 所以我们今天 Colin 带大家聊的呢，比较专业的话题啊。但是呢，跟我们还是切身相关的。All right, so I'm no expert on these things, but I will try to explain it in layman's terms. Me either. 那听到这个词，其实我都一脸懵，因为我是真正的门外汉。哎，这个门外汉啊，大家可以用到这个单词 layman to explain something in layman's terms， 就是说用通俗易懂的语言来解释。Right. And seeing as my knowledge of all things internet is limited, I have no choice but to try and explain it simply. Yeah, sure. Okay, the way I understand it, with net neutrality, a small company can deliver information on the internet to you as fast as a big company. There are no favorites. So if you want to watch a movie online, you can choose the website or app that you want, and everything will be equal. Yeah, this one I get that. 这点还是好理解，就是说，不管是大公司还是小公司呢，现在都能给我们互联网的用户提供各种服务嘛。比如大家来看视频，什么软件啊、网站啊，你都可以用，自由选择。不过有时候有的网站好像会比其他的快一些。You know, but some websites are already faster than others. Oh yeah, yeah, but that's not due to opportunity. Um, think of it like a highway.、Mm -hmm. Uh, two trucks are bringing vegetables to a city. Now, one truck might be bigger, faster, or have a better driver, be newer, etc. But they all have the access to the same highway. Yeah, highway 就是高速路。所以这里我们再把这些大家获取的信息呢，这个路径比喻成一条大马路，高速路。就是说，不管这个网站是快还是慢，起码呢，大家都能上这个路。这个赛道是公平的，都可以进来。So without net neutrality, the highway is changed. Right. The internet provider could make private deals with companies to provide them with better internet connections than others. Okay. So, 就是说，有了这个网络中立，网络供应商呢，就需要给每个公司提供一些公平的平台。But my question here is, who are the internet providers? Uh. Okay. Well. Think about the internet providers in China. We have、uh, I use、uh, China Unicom, China Telecom, right? China Mobile, right? And, uh, right, China Mobile, and and there's you know、uh, others. So these companies,、uh, they have something to do with the government here. But、yeah. in the West, they are private companies. They're not attached to the government, so they're private.、Mm -hmm. So if one of these companies, so if Unicom was in the West, right? They decided to not let any of China Mobile's apps work very well.、Mm -hmm. Well, then you wouldn't be able to use them. 
哦。Oh, 所以这个网络供应商到底是谁？就是这些我们去买数据、买手机、给我们提供网络的这些大公司。Okay, so about net neutrality, this is something everyone would want, isn't it? Well, as a consumer like you, like me,、uh, we want it because it keeps our options open. But as for internet providers, they are against it, and they're trying to put the kibosh on it. Why does it matter so much for them? Have a guess. I don't know. Okay, when you can't figure out a motive for something, where should you look first? Love. <laughs> This is a company summer. <laughs> All right, I get that. Money. Right. 所以就是说，国外的这些供应商啊，还有那些大公司，他们不想要这个网络中立，因为如果没有这个的话，他们有更大的选择权，他们可以有更大的利益去赚钱。And now you use the phrase "put the kibosh on it." I've never heard about that before. Yeah, kibosh, K I B O S H, means to decisively end or reject something. But I have really only heard it used in the phrase "put the kibosh on something."、Uh, it means to、uh, spoil or destroy an idea or plan. By itself, it's not a common word. Hmm. So this will definitely be used in the phrase "put the kibosh on it." Put the kibosh on it. 意思就是阻止一件事情的发生来破坏。So the internet providers want to stop net neutrality in order to be able to make greater profits. Right, but it's not just that. Internet providers in the West are big corporations, rich businesses, and they are starting to branch out into other fields. So they are doing, you know, like streaming video as well as the companies like Netflix, Disney, and、uh, Apple. If there is no net neutrality, they would be able to slow the connection of their competitors down. Hmm. I just give 大家做一个解释，拿个做比方吧。就比如现在，不管是你用中国移动还是中国联通，你都可以用淘宝。但如果一旦呢，这个中国联通和这个淘宝做了一个协议之后，如果你用移动的网，你就用不了淘宝了。这件事情很大的事情了，对吧？ Yeah. 所以这就是为什么 net neutrality 会很重要。So without net neutrality, it will make them take the bad roads instead of the highway. Ah, exactly. And for us, we will be stuck with very little choice, as only the services from our internet provider would be, you know, any good. So that doesn't sound fair for us. 对消费者来说也非常不公平啊，因为选择就少了。你一定要按照他们的指示来做事，然后我们的信息也全都被大公司掌握了。So. Couldn't we just switch internet providers? Ah, well, in some places you can't. There are not always choices. You know, usually in big cities, you you can have a choice, but sometimes in smaller places, you're stuck with one. 对，就像有的小区，它只让你用移动。<laughs> okay, 但是这些不同的网络供应商之间，他们会不会其实不想要竞争呢 ？You know, maybe they would want net neutrality. Nah,、uh, you, you might think so, but actually, no. They will collude with each other in order to maximize each of their profits. You know that's easier to do if there aren't any safeguards for the public. Hmm,、嗯、就是如果没有监管，当然对于他们来说还是会更容易一些啊。然后他们这些不同的供应商之间呢，他们之间会密谋串通。这个单词很形象，就用 collude to act together secretly or illegally in order to deceive or cheat someone. Okay, 那么政府能不能起作用？ Can the government just make sure that it's a level playing field for all of us consumers? Well, ideally, that would happen, but realistically, in America, the corporations really run the country. They use money co- to control the outcome of elections and get what they want. See Facebook. Yeah. 所以说，在国外这些大公司啊，其实权力真的是非常大的，所以政府都不能保证这会是公平的。这种公平的竞争环境就可以用到这个词组 ，a level playing field. Level 是水平的嘛，所以就是公平的。But is that the same in all Western countries? No, the system of government in, for example, Britain and Canada are very different from America. Both Britain and Canada already have laws enforcing net neutrality because our governments cannot be as easily manipulated by corporations. Yeah. So, is there a real chance that there will be no net neutrality in the U.S. soon? Yeah, I think so. The corporations will pay to have laws passed, and it will be gone because the public doesn't know enough about the issue to demand that it isn't gone. 
所以目前来说，在英国还有加拿大都是有法律保证这个网络中立的，但是美国没有，因为大公司可能正在花钱嘛。然后因为大众知道的信息也不够多，所、so、以 Why don't people know about it? Well, it's complicated and it's not easy to understand, and most people are too busy watching the Kardashians. <laughs> Will this be a problem in China? You know, I don't think so. No,、uh, because the internet providers here have to answer to your government. In America, they are very privatized. Okay, so will America's choice affect us? Well, not really. If you don't use any American websites, it probably wouldn't matter at all. So why should we care? Well, that's a good question. But America is always shouting about its freedom. But they are slowly taking it away from their own citizens with laws like these. I think it's worth paying attention to.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. 虽然这件事情目前来说对我们没有什么太大影响，但是其实真的能体现出某些国家的态度，让我们看的会更明白一些吧。Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. And now I know what net neutrality is. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于。Thank you very much for listening, everyone. This is Colin. This is Summer. See you next time. Bye. Bye.